think he said that he um, had written Breakfast Club a really a long, long, long time before. And he had it in the drawer or something. You know, in the industry, it's called a Talking Heads movie, where people, you know, there formerly had been films like My Dinner with Andre or, you know, maybe European films where it's so simplified. But with that, it was really like filming a play. John said something like that he wrote the first draft in a weekend. And both Amelia and I, it was almost simultaneously, I was like, first draft, okay, how many drafts do you have? And he said, well, I got a, a few, why? And Amelia and I were like, can we, can we um, read them? This is during the rehearsal process. So he's like, sure, hey, so we read them. I was like, John, so how about if we put this? He was like, sure, let's try it. John was awesome about uh, making sure we had rehearsal time, which is like a foregone conclusion these days. You don't have that. You just show up on the set, you know, where's my trailer, where's my makeup? But with that, we rehearsed it. We really sat, just the six of us, in a room while the sets were still being finished and made. And, you know, we all had a lot of time to talk about it and share our insights about what we were going to do and how it could play out. But the rehearsal was key. Yeah, I really thought uh, that that's how they made movies. It certainly is the best way to go about making a good movie, I think, is when everyone's on the same page and confident and ready. He just wanted everybody to come in, you know, with their character and start playing around. That's how he shot it. I mean, he was so open to anything that anybody brought in or anything that happened in the scene, you know, any riff that you do off his writing. He wasn't precious about anything. 